Every day, Two Sigma uses the growing power of data science to tackle remarkable challenges. Working together, our engineers and researchers aim to harness machine learning, massive computing resources, and other technologies to build cutting-edge predictive tools. It's a revolutionary way to try to forecast almost anything, even the popularity of ice cream flavors. Imagine the volume of data needed to predict ice cream consumption. You have to do two things in order to predict the effect weather really has on ice cream consumption, as opposed to the effect people think it has. First, I need to actually predict the weather. I used to be fascinated by weather as a kid, Doppler's, radars, meteorology. That's when I fell in love with predictions. Anyway, I was able to build a model aggregating lots of weather data that could break some basic weather stats in a given location, though it took a whole lot of horsepower from our compute farm. Then I needed to know how the weather affects ice cream consumption. It turns out temperature and rainfall are really strong predictors. In New York, for instance, there's a high correlation between hot weather and consumption. This is the thing. That's a crude model, and not 100% right, and not helpful. My model, though, it's got this beautiful specificity to it, and that's powerful. The challenge is that we have huge data sets and lots of smaller ones. There are loads of compute resources, but because they're being tapped by so many jobs at once, I needed to apply some non-standard problem solving. You could say it required a change in perspective. This is really an optimization problem. With some heuristics, we can estimate the relative importance to each user. And with some log analysis, maybe tell how long they take and what they'll have in common, maybe what resources they'll tap. And with some dynamic optimization, we can intelligently use all our computing power without sacrificing much. Doing this at small scale would be easy, but at our scale, the engineering challenges behind this are let's just say super fun. That's what I do. I have a ton of autonomy. I work in a polyglot environment, Java, Python, Scala, Clojure. And I get to be creative, even when it comes to ice cream. The largest data set I could think of was Instagram. So I started there. I trained up a neural network, but there was just way too much data. So I boiled it down to something a little friendlier, using T-SNE. Immediately, I was like, awesome. Although not all relevant, but that's okay. I'd clean this up later. Anyway, I had those four queries scouring Instagram history, building an image corpus on our servers. Then things got interesting. I opened up an editor and started by importing the necessary packages. I took all the photos that I had saved and did an initial clean to remove ones that didn't relate. Then I ran a second scan on the hashtag ice cream images looking for colors extracting features that might be relevant for determining which flavor the image referenced. I was starting to see patterns, so I built an ice cream flavor classifier from images and hashtags, which would be useful to someone who does time series prediction. Then I stopped for a moment to appreciate the scale of this data and its potential. And I know this is only the beginning. This isn't about solving a single problem. It's not only about knowing how to predict ice cream consumption or the movement of global dairy supplies. That's way too small. It's about a way of seeing, way of thinking. Moore's law alone can't represent the speed of change. The nature of the shift that's happening right now is way beyond what I thought was possible. It's about massive computing power enabled by the cloud. Enormous data sets. And creative analysis at the speed of conversation. Turning many whispers into a shout. It's in our nature to ask questions and to see problems in a different way.